Hey guys, what is up? This is Red Black Productions, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to edit text in After Effects CS6 and CC, as the text options in both of these programs are pretty similar. So let's get started. The first thing you want to make sure that you do is have the workspace set to text. So you can change it from standard to text up here. And once you've done that, you'll see that you have a character option and a paragraph option to the side. If some of the elements for the character options are missing, just simply drag it downwards and it will reveal more of the options as you can see here. And you can do the same for paragraph as well. Now once you've done that, you want to go to you're going to want to go to composition and go to new composition. Once you've done that, we're going to name this composition text. It's going to have a width of 1920 and a height of 180 for HD standards. It's going to have an aspect ratio of 16:9 then with a frame rate of 36. And we're going to make the project go on for 10 seconds. And let's change the background to a red color. So we can see strokes and drop backgrounds, drop shadows. Once you've done all that, hit OK, and our project will come up here. We have a very strong red there, so let's make the text go on top of it now. So how do you actually add text in? To do so, simply go up to the horizontal type tool up here and click on it. You can also go layer, new text up here as you can see. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this tool here, and then you simply hover over the composition and wherever you want your text, simply click down. Once you've done that, you can add your text in. And as you can see, by typing it in, we've got it up here now. Now you can actually change it around a few different things. As you can see, you can actually change the alignment of the text, whether it's be right facing, left facing, or center facing. Center is usually pretty good. You can do a few other things as well. As you can see, we have a lot of options here in the character tools. Paragraph tools has a few things, but the character tools mainly change the, um, the style of your text. So for one thing, as you can see, this text is italic. And we can get rid of the italics by simply clicking on the italics button down here. We have all the italics, bold, and all the other styles around here as well. So let's make this bold, and let's go and change the size of the text up here. You can change the text size of the text by using this tool here. By dragging it to the left, it makes the text uh, smaller, and dragging it to the right makes the text larger. So there's a few other things we can do as well. By hitting enter, you can see the spacing between the letters here. And you can see that there's quite a bit of space, so that actually looks quite nice. But you can actually change the spacing in between the letters by using this tool here. And by dragging it to the left, it brings the letter closer until it's finally overlapping. And by dragging it to the right, it brings the letter further. And by adding in even more letters in, you can see that it actually stays that way. So that's actually how you change the spacing between the letters. Let's bring this back now. And you can also change the spacing horizontally between here and here by using this tool here. So you can actually do the same thing until it's finally overlapping. And you can bring it back the other way as well. So let's keep it about here for now at negative 100. And let's check out a few other things. Another thing you can do is add a stroke in. Now a stroke just sort of overlaps at the ends of each of the letters, at the very ends of them. And as you can see here, a stroke is done by using this tool here. You can use fill over stroke or stroke over fill. Personally, I prefer fill over stroke though. So as you can see, that's actually how it looks. You can change the color of the stroke by using this one here. And by choosing this, we're going to choose a black color. Because black generally looks good on a bright colored text. Now there's a few other things we can do as well. Now that we've exhausted all the character and paragraph options, there is also another thing here called layer styles. Layer styles are the ones that you'd find in Sony Vegas as well, such as Drop Shadow, Inner Shadow, Outer Glow, Inner Glow, Bevel and Emboss, Satin, Color Overlay, Gradient Overlay, and Stroke. A few of these I can show you right away, such as Drop Shadow. That one just adds a shadow in, so it's pretty simple. Another one is Bevel and Emboss. This one here can actually add quite a bit of style to your letters, and it makes them look a little bit more in-depth, a bit more 3D as well. And as you can see, we've already made the letters look a little bit better. There's a few other ones as well, so like Stroke. And that essentially just repeats what you can use on the, over in the Character tab over there. You can also change the color of the letters using color, color Overlay. You can add a gradient in. You can even add an outer or an inner glow. An outer glow on the outside, you can change a few things around to make it look a little bit better. Generally, whenever you add an outer glow in, it'll always start off in screen. So you might want to change that to normal if you want to actually see the outer glow a little bit better, depending on what you're working with. And you've got to change the size as well, depending on what you're working with. If the outer glow is a little bit too noticeable, 
try turning down the opacity to make it a little bit less. And as you can see now, what our text started off with now looks a lot more complicated. So we have quite a few things going for the text. Finally, let's go ahead and add in a picture into the text. So if we go ahead and add a picture in, we can see how we can actually layer the, the text over a picture. So let's add one in, such as this one here, the Tarantula Nebula. By bringing this underneath here, we can see that it's now the text is now on top of a picture. But how can we make this text blend into the picture? To look, make it look like it's more part of the picture. To do this, all we've got to simply do is right click, and we go to blending mode, and we can change the blending mode. And as you can see now, it now looks like it's more blended in. Something like screen or overlay will do that. And it looks quite good once you've done that. By changing the size of the text one more time, we can actually make it look like the text is actually part of outer space. And it's got a very spacey feel to it now. So they're just some of the ways you can play around with text in After Effects CS6 and CC. As you can see, there's a lot more options in Sony Vegas and Windows Movie Maker. So it's a lot more advanced as well. There's a lot of things to play around with and try playing around with a few of these things in your own time and see what you can come up with. This has been Red Black Productions and stay tuned for the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.